In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an eyebrow dormer in Autodesk Revit. I already have four walls and a door here in this file. I want to go ahead and add in a gable roof to start with. I'm going to switch to my roof plan, then use my roof by footprint tool. I'm going to select the wood rafter 10 inch asphalt shingle for my type. I'm going to set my overhang to two feet then confirm that my base offset from level is set to zero and that I have no cutoff. And for my rafter cut, I'm going to set this to a plumb cut. This is going to be a gable roof, so I do not want a slope on the left and right side. So I'll make sure defines slope is not selected and I'll select the east and west sides of this building. Then I'll turn defines slope on and select the north and south. By default, I'm given a 9 over 12 slope. I'm going to select these two slope lines by holding control, and I'm going to adjust their slope to 8 over 12. Then I'll simply finish and attach the walls to the roof. I'll switch to 3D, and you can see the main roof of the building now. Next, I'm going to add the eyebrow dormer above this door, and this is done by splitting the original roof line and adding some slope arrows. So I'm going to switch back to the roof plan, select my roof, and edit footprint. Based upon the door location, I want to come in 10 feet from the edge of the roof, and then I want to create a 15 foot section that's going to be the actual eyebrow dormer. To do so, here on the modify tab, I'm going to choose my split tool. Then I will just simply come in until I'm 10 feet away from the edge and click. Then I will come 15 feet from that point and click again. Now you can see that it added in an extra segment here and split the other one out. The other two should continue sloping up for the gable end. This new segment should not slope. So I'm going to select it and turn off defines slope in the options bar. Instead, I want this to slope up from the end point to the midpoint of this line on each side. So here on the Modify tab, I'm going to select the Slope Arrow tool. And then it starts with the tail, so I'm going to pick the end point here. Then I will bring it into the midpoint. And I'll repeat the same thing for the opposite side. So I'll start with the tail, then to the middle. Holding Control, I'm going to select both of these slope arrows and take a look at its properties. By default, it's set to allow me to specify a value for the height offset at the head of the arrow. Instead, I want to specify the slope. So I'm going to select the drop down here where it says height at tail and set it to slope. Now you can see the slope area opens up. And to match the other roof, I'm going to set this to 8 over 12 as well. I'll go ahead and finish. Take a look at the 3D view, and we can now see that we have the eyebrow dormer. To finish this up, I'm going to add a round window above my doors. So I'll switch to my south elevation, select my window tool. I'm going to use the 36 inch round window, and I'll simply click to place it somewhere above the door here. And then I will select it set its seal height to 8 foot 6 inches. Then I will align it. So I'll switch to the Modify tab and use my Align tool here. Find the center of the door, then the center of the window. Once again, I'll switch back to 3D and I can see my final result. That concludes this look at creating an eyebrow dormer in Autodesk Revit.